Hello, welcome to the Real Bit Wars. Today we have the next installment of my game collection series, and we will go over my Nintendo 64 collection. These are all loose cartridges. I do have a handful of boxes sitting around, but I don't keep them stored that way. So you may notice right there, Mega Man 64. Beetle Adventure Racing is a really fun game. Mischief Makers is a pretty popular one. Alright, not a ton to talk about in this group, but I do like Pilot Wing 64. I think uh, that's probably the most popular Castlevania game in the entire series right there. I'm sure you all know the drill by now in regards to my feelings on the Bomberman series. I did have this first one, Bomberman 64, I originally bought back in the day when it came out. And it was not until years later at a thrift store that I realized there was a sequel. And then several years after that even, I realized there are two more of them. And much to my dismay, I realized that one of them is extremely rare, and the other one was only released in Japan. Both of them were pretty dang pricey, but I managed to find a complete set of all four Japanese versions that I added to my collection. So I do have two copies of the first and second one. So, being the sports game fanatic that I am, NBA Hang Time is my favorite basketball game ever, specifically the Nintendo 64 port. It's done in the vein of NBA Jam, but I think they expanded upon the idea well, and I think it's slightly better. 1080 Snowboarding is a pretty popular one. I don't know if it's aged that well though. Although I am a Green Bay Packer fan, I cannot stand that guy. I wish he would just shut his mouth. We got a few more here. Another basketball game. Super Smash Bros. Scars. Asteroids Hyper 64. Or is it Asteroid 64 Hyper? Here we have Ocarina of Time. Jet Force Gemini, I think, is like the ultimate gem on the console. I really like Wave Race 64 as well as the cruising games. There are a lot of good racing games on this console. Alright, some pretty decent stuff here. The Mystical Ninja games, or Goemon as you might call them. Star Fox 64, Donkey Kong, a couple of Tony Hawk Pro Skater games. So obviously GoldenEye is a classic. The Turok series, those Ken Griffey games are pretty decent. I can recall buying all three of these Blitz games from a dollar bin at a store. And the woman working the cash register questioned why the heck I wanted so many Blitz games. And I was like, duh, because they're a dollar each. Here we have a bunch of the wrestling games. You gotta love those. Those THQ ones were phenomenal. Even people that weren't into wrestling really loved playing those back in the day. Because everyone loves sports games. We got Madden and Kobe Bryant. And last but not least, we have some pretty good games in here. Let's just pretend that Sculptor's Cup right there. Mario Kart 64, Mario obviously. I really like F-Zero X a lot. But that does it for today's episode of The Real Bit Wars. We have more of these game collection videos coming out, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching.